Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. Now, I usually don't take requests for designs, but I made a little bit of an exception here. I got an email from Aaron who said, I've been watching your videos on YouTube for a while now, trying to learn my way through Fusion 360. They have been great, thank you. I'm really stuck on a current problem and I'm not sure the best way to move forward. I'm trying to recreate the following design. And here's the design he's looking at. Now he says he's managed to get this basic shape here, but he's really having trouble with this little semi-circle uh, ridge part here that goes throughout the design. So I thought this was a good design to tackle, and so I, I took a quick look at it and then thought about how I would go about it. And I decided I can put together a little quick five minute video to get him past that hump. And I'm only gonna tackle this basic curved shape here plus that little bump out ridge. I'm not gonna do the bottom parts here because I wanna keep this video under five minutes. And I'm sure you're gonna love how simple the solution is. All right, let's get started. Let's design this general curved shape here. In Fusion, we're gonna start with a sketch on our ZX plane, and we're gonna grab a sensor diameter circle, draw a circle, stop sketch, and let's extrude this, but we'll do a symmetric extrusion. So for direction, we'll choose symmetric, bring this out a bit, and then click OK. And then we're gonna grab another sketch, this time on a plane perpendicular to the one we just created, so that ZY plane. And we're gonna draw a circle here and let's uh, constrain that to that center point. So we'll grab that vertical constraint and constrain that midpoint. We just want it to be able to pierce down through the bottom here. And then we're gonna offset that circle. So we'll go to modify down to offset, select that circle and we'll go down a bit, click okay, stop the sketch. And next we're gonna grab our split face tool found under our modify menu, go to split face. Our faces to split is gonna be the outside face of that cylinder. Our splitting tool is gonna to be the outside circle here. We'll start with that, we'll click OK. And as you can see, it split the face. Now, if you go to your bodies, you should only have one body. If you have two, that means you chose the wrong tool. You chose the split body tool instead of the split face. All right, we have this delineation between the outside and that inside surface. We're gonna select that inside surface and we're gonna repeat that split face. And this time we're gonna select that inside circle. So let's bring that sketch into view and we'll grab that inside circle as that splitting tool. Click OK, let's remove sketches. And now we have this profile here. All right, we can't extrude a curved surface. If I hit you for extrude, we can't even select that, but we can use our press pull tool. So I'm gonna select that from our modify menu, choose our profile here, and let's do an extrusion of four millimeters and I'll click OK. And that's the shape I'm looking for, but I don't need this internal cylinder. So I'll select it, hit E for extrude, and we're just gonna cut that out. All right, there's the general shape we're looking for. So let's see how well that matches our drawing. I think it does pretty well. Now let's see if we can answer Aaron's question about this ridge here. How can we get that in there? All right, you're gonna love how simple this is. We're gonna go back and let's, we need one more circle there. So we're gonna edit the sketch that we made. So we'll go to our timeline, edit that sketch, and let's offset that circle again. So we'll go to modify, offset, grab that outside circle, bring it in a bit, click OK, stop sketch. And again, we'll do a split face here. So let's bring that sketch into view. Our faces to split is gonna be our surface here. Our splitting tool this time is gonna be that offset we just made. We're gonna click OK. Let's uncheck our sketches here. Okay, here's the beautiful part. We're gonna to go to create and down to pipe. We'll get our dialog box. Our path is gonna be that path we just created by splitting that face. And our section is gonna be circular. Our section size, I'm gonna bring that down to five for my case, and we're gonna change the operation from cut to join. Click OK, and there it is. There's our beautiful ridge that goes all the way around our path. Uh, love the pipe tool, it really comes in handy for things like this. And I think we did pretty well. I think that matches you know, what we did here. Now obviously I didn't go with his dimensions, I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of how to tackle this. But that's how I would quickly tackle that part. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of my solution. Of course, there's always multiple ways to solve the same problem. So I'm curious to hear if you had a different approach. And if you did, leave it in the comments below so we can see.
If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe and come back next week for another one. All right, I'll see you guys next week and make sure to check out my website, desktopmates.com for more content. All right, take care.